or removing a pension? No, dude. The pension exists. They're just in increasing the retirement age, adding two additional years to the retirement age. The retirement age in France currently. So let me just let me just start from the top one more time, okay? For the Americans in the chat, there's a concept called pensions, okay, in other countries where when you retire, it's kind of like Social Security, but like at least a, a little bit more livable than what uh, Social Security looks like. Okay, so when you retire, you get money from either your place of work or from the government, right? Now, the retirement age in France is 62. That's the that's the actual the retirement age. The retirement age in America is, there is no retirement age, really. But the retirement age in the United States of America, uh, which doesn't really fucking mean anything, is uh, the full retirement age is 66. If you were born in 19, born between 1943 to 1954, the full retirement age increases gradually if you were born from 1955 to 1960 until it reaches 67. For anyone born in 1960 or later, full retirement benefits are payable at the age of 67. This is for the United States of America. For those of you who don't know, this is from the Social Security Administration's very own website. Okay, there it is. Um, In France, it's... In France, it's currently 62. They want to raise it to 60. Uh, they, they want to raise it to 64. Okay? Wait, what the fuck? That's why all these people are freaking the fuck out. Time for Elizabeth Bourne, the French Prime Minister. It's a risky position. She has found herself in many opposition members of Parliament. We'll be seeing this 49.3 mechanism, the use of it as a provocation. It's fired them up. It really has. We are, though, in a similar position as we... What does raising it do? Yeah, it means that uh, people have to work two extra years before the government pays them. Like, before anybody pays them a pension. It, it cheapens it. I mean, it, it's uh, cost-effective if you're worried about your, your social security apparatus falling apart. That's what it is. It's also a terrifying precedent to set, but, you know, that's not even a thing. 30% of poor people in France die before 64. Nice. There you go. That's uh, also another cost-effective, cost-saving uh, measure. <coughs> what do you think about the argument that Macron is doing this to prevent France from going bankrupt and putting the burden on those who can take it better? Sounds like BS to me. It's just that, like, when you are a government... You have plenty of opportunities to raise your coffers, raise funds, right? The problem is, in the Western world, okay, in most instances, there is, it's like unimaginable to assume that you would ever tax the wealthy or tax corporations at a higher rate. So that's precisely the problem. They don't do that. They'll instead tax gas or they'll tax, uh, they'll, they'll use regressive taxes that end up harming the working poor. They'll they'll uh, up the sales tax or things of that nature. Um, KDV in Turkey is the is the equivalent. I don't. What would it be called? What is it called in English? Fuck! I can't believe I'm forgetting it now. Uh, it's what Andrew Yang pushed for as well. He wanted to do that. The VAT, the value added tax. Yes, the value added tax. Um, so. You know, that's that's kind of what the only uh, effective funding mechanisms are uh, or the passable funding mechanisms are in a country like France or in many of the uh, in many of the Western neoliberal capitalist nations. It's like unimaginable to to scare uh, capital by um, increasing their taxes in a meaningful capacity because, hey, capital flight will occur, even though there's no demonstration of capital flight thus far. Also. One effective mechanism to push back against capital flight, as I've said time and time again, is to tell them that if you evade taxes, then you don't get to actually enter the French market. You don't get to actually enter the American market. You know, put a fucking uh, Chinese-style vice grip on that shit. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. That's what I would advocate for. Oh, you don't want to pay taxes in America? Well, sorry, then you're not going to fucking take advantage of our pigs, okay? Okay are fucking fat slob pigs that buy all of your shit. We're not buying it no longer. We're not allowing you to come into the country and sell goods. 
just a threat, but I think it would be a very viable one. And yet, for some reason, nobody ever cons nobody ever considers that at all. You know, no one ever considers it. Were before it's those right wing Les Républicains party members who are being courted now. It's their votes who count. It's worth remembering that their presidential candidate last year, Valérie Pécresse, she campaigned to raise the retirement age. But this time round, some of them plan to back the reform and others just felt that they couldn't back Emmanuel Macron and, their, and his government. Some of them joined criticism. The U.S. does not have a value-added tax, but each individual state has, like, different forms of sales tax. Um, but, no, we do not have, like, a federal all-encompassing value-added tax. But there's no VAT in the United States. It's supposed to be more progressive, even though it's, like, doesn't really, doesn't really work that way. Um, you know, fun shit, boys. Fun shit. Um, but, uh, of course, because the French are very... Um, because the French are very open and have a long and uh, otherwise very fun history of revolting against these sorts of things, uh, they are up in arms and burning the fucking town down a little bit, which I like. Wing, saying that the bill was unfair, but it's their votes. It could come down to a hand, handful of votes. It's their votes which will be courted over the next few days ahead of that likely motion of no confidence next week. And Claire, take us then to next week, if you can. The vote of confidence happens. Let's assume the government loses the vote. What happens then? Well, the person who's really in the firing line is Elizabeth Bourne, the prime minister. When she came in last year, this really was... The it's wild to me that, like, what what is the French left non-existent? Like, what happened? What happened uh, to the French left? Why are they not talking about Mélenchon at all? I have seen zero, zero coverage of his name being mentioned. Zero. What the fuck's going on there? No, don't kick W the left. Uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon actually had a pretty solid, uh, originally had a, 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 a solid uh, opportunity, which, you know, it, it's fallen apart now, but... The National Council for Pensions has calculated that our current pension system is fine economically speaking, so Macron's argument doesn't even work. Um, he's not a government representative anymore. No, but I'm saying, like, Mélenchon led his party into almost seizing fucking victory um, in one of the more successful leftist uh, movements in the country. There is still a very viable... There is still a very viable leftist uh, uh, movement in France, and yet they're making it seem like a lot of the people that are, they're making it seem like a lot of the people that are pushing back against this is just like right wing, right wing, right wing. It's Le Pen, Le Pen, Le Pen, Le Pen, Le Pen. I work for the LFI party. Huh. the big reform that she needed to get enough votes for in Parliament. And she hasn't managed to do that. She wasn't mm. able to bring enough of those right-wing Les Républicains party members on board. So really, the 49.3 mechanism for her feels like a bit of a failure. Um, that said, there's also the trade unions. They're not backing away easily either. The dustbin collectors in Paris are going to continue their strike until next Monday at least. And we know that the trade unions will really see the 49.3 mechanism as a trigger for more strikes, more actions, which they haven't yet specified, but I'm sure we'll find out very, very soon. More actions pretty much means more disruption here in France. Claire Pacalin live at the National Assembly. Thank you very much indeed. So I just want to bring you the latest pictures from Paris, where, of course, we've been telling you that there have been protests me, me, me. after French President Emmanuel Macron used <laughs> a special procedure to push through a controversial bill to raise the retirement age. Look at those pictures on your screen now. Um, protesters seem to have set fire to... Dude, they brought up trade unionists at the end of that fucking conversation. Like, who the fuck is working the trash? Who's working in sanitation? Who's working in transportation? 
Like, how do you think there was a level of organizing there that caused uh, trash bags to be fucking piled up everywhere? That organizing did not come from the far right, okay? That organizing did not come from the fascists. How the fuck do you just mention the trade unionists literally at the very end of the conversation? It's like they make it seem as though it is a fucking afterthought. It blows my mind. Macron is married to his high school, old high school teacher. Wow, it's fucked up. You just don't want love to thrive. I see how it is. There, it has to be deliberate, right? Yeah, problematic age gap galore with fucking, um, with respect to, with respect to, to Macron and his, his, uh, older lady friend slash teacher at school that he ended up marrying. Trade unionists are a left wing thing for America's Lamont. Most of the workers are unionized, not a political thing at all. It's pretty much assumed. Yes, but. You are failing to recognize if you don't, I don't know if you don't see this or not, but when the media makes it seem as though the organizational effort that's coming from leftists or trade unionists, which is like an anti-capitalist concept to a certain degree, when they don't fucking mention that, that is by design. They're doing it at the behest of capital. They're doing it as a defensive measure. Because this is centrist media trying to frame this as a far right versus centrist in order to manufacture consent for the cutting of benefits. There's a major protest outside the parliament right now led by the left in France. They are going to be tabling a no confidence vote themselves. And it will probably be the one that is voted on. But when you look at the, yeah, but when you look at the fucking situation on the goddamn ground, uh, I mean, or when you look at the situation that's being covered in the media, it's very different. Like... I heard they're rioting because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. And if they no longer want to see those ads, they don't even know all they need to do is subscribe, which they could do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting their Amazon Prime account to the Twitch Prime uh, to get the Twitch Prime and use it here. Ha, ha, ha. You can also get uh, the gifted sub. That is right. If you are lucky, you can get the gifted sub. Uh, use it on your favorite streamer. Hopefully that's me. Ha, ha, ha. Your favorite French streamer. Use a three minute ad break now. Anyway. Um. By the way, the French news is neoliberal as fuck. Every time I go back to visit family, the media neoliberal rhetoric and propaganda gets worse and worse. Yeah, I mean, hon 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 is the laziest French accent. Nobody says that. <laughs> or you think I give a fuck? <laughs> My man said it's so lazy. Okay. Munch de for 420 and one sandwich, please. Uh, thank you for the... Thank you for the 10 gifted subs uh, together. Allowing 10 people to no longer say the as at the top of the hour. <coughs> okay. Sakura Go! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, all right, let's get back to it. Um, oh, cars there. There looks like tear gas is being used on the streets of Paris as well. Of course, we've seen that before. Um, oh, a lot of protesters on the streets of Paris there. The move, of course, triggered protests within Parliament too, with some politicians singing the fresh national anthem, holding placards saying no to 64 years today. Um, the government is arguing the retirement age must go up 
to make sure the pension system doesn't go bust. The measure was, has caused widespread protests over recent months. And tonight, these scenes, the very latest from Paris, you can see that is Place de la Concorde with the needle there from Egypt in the middle. Police, uh, they're in riot gear with water cannon. They seem to be charging towards protesters. And we saw on the streets of Paris, their protesters battling the police, um, battling them as they fire tear gas at them, setting fire to what looked like a car. I couldn't really quite tell what they'd set fire to. Um, but uh, clearly hundreds of police officers and protesters on the streets of Paris tonight. Out of California, where tens of... Um. It would just be a massacre in America. I mean, they don't really fucking... Americans don't get rowdy like that. You know what I mean? They just don't. <laughs> Shit is getting tense currently on uh, the, the... De la Concorde. Place de la Concorde. These are sites that we are very familiar with here in the United States of America. Look at all the Antifa. Except the French police pretty much do nothing. I mean, in comparison to American police, yes, they pretty much do nothing. But um, they still do a lot. What do you mean? They definitely still fucking tear gas you. They also use high-pressure water cannons in, in a lot of European countries. Um, what you gotta re what you got to remember, though, is that, like, yes, as I've said before, time and time again, I will repeat myself. Um... In civilized countries, you could kind of fight back a little bit. You can tell if a country is more civilized if you can, like, find footage of people being able to, like, pounce on cops every now and then, which is a such a foreign concept for Americans that, like, when I mentioned this, uh, this was probably one of my most hated takes of all time, okay? One of my most hated takes of all time from Americans was, like, what the fuck are you talking about, like... What do you mean? Like you should be able to uh, pounce on cops? Like no, there is a, there is a uh, use of force restriction that does not exist in the United States of America. Okay, that means that the playing field is a little bit uh, more even, which I think is the adequate thing, is the right thing. That's it. You should not have. Uh, you should not be fearful of getting mag dumped or having less than lethal or, you know, less lethal. Let's be real. Um, rounds fired directly at your head from close distance that can, like, gouge your fucking eye out. Like, yeah, you should be able to definitely engage in self-defense. You can never do that in America. And when you even mention that, people will take it uh, in the worst way possible and go fucking crazy over it. Uh. You don't like there being two guns for every one person in the U.S. and cops using that as an excuse to be kitted up like they're in Donbass? What the fuck? Exactly. What is this? Yeah. Bro. They still arrest you for assaulting a police officer, but the penalty is usually a fine here in the UK. Well, better than the fine in the United States of America where they fucking, you know, <laughs> the penalty is sh getting shot in the head. <laughs> I mean, with cops, it's like, you know, even if you, with cops in America, that's like 10 to 25, okay? 
But also, you can still be penalized with death even if you don't fucking shoot a cop. You can be penalized with death even if you're running away from a cop. 